The war in Tigray hits people quickly and without warning, and this is the result. A production line of human misery as the latest casualties are ferried into the Aydar hospital. On Tuesday afternoon at about one o'clock, Ethiopian Air Force jets allegedly dropped bombs on a place called Togoga and killed dozens of people. But the Ethiopian military has denied these victims were civilians. Togoga is a small market town just to the west of Magale, the capital of Tigray. The restive northern region is fighting for autonomy from the central government in Addis Ababa. Open warfare broke out in November last year. It's a conflict that threatens the unity of Africa's second most populous country. Two million civilians have already been displaced by the fighting and the United Nations fears a potential famine. Farmer Aspeha Merutse has seen a lot in his 71 years. Now he's watching as mass hunger takes hold of his people. We have prepared the land, but we have no seeds. We're struggling and have so many problems. We're suffering from hunger, but no aid is reaching us. We only got it once. We are registered, but we're not getting anything. Travel to the markets and you will see plenty of food for sale. But prices here have skyrocketed at the exact moment many people have seen their incomes disappear. And this kind of food insecurity is precisely how famines can start. But that is not the only worry. This trading hub is close to Togoga, whose own marketplace was apparently destroyed by airstrikes on Tuesday. We're scared to sit and sell here because I've seen the airstrikes and explosions from a distance. I've seen warplanes with my own eyes and there's no guarantee it won't happen here. We woke up today, but tomorrow isn't promised. Back in the Aydar hospital, doctors are now treating both victims of the fighting and increasingly the malnourished. All the children this pediatrician showed us were victims of hunger, not violence. The kids are hurting so much, physically and mentally. Because of the war, they've been pushed out of their homes and spent up to a week hiding in the desert without food, which leads to malnutrition. But before the war, there were healthcare centres in every district with their own doctors giving the children follow-ups. There wasn't a food shortage at that level either. Now, neither food nor healthcare are reaching these kids. Monday was also election day in Ethiopia. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has a vision of a unified regional powerhouse. But the day after he cast his vote, his air force was reportedly bombing Togoga. With a full-scale insurgency raging across Tigray and a possible famine on the horizon, unless they reach a peace deal, scenes like these could define Ethiopia in the eyes of the world.